um, a question I'm asked a lot, especially by guys that have been on groups or workshops with me who've had some of my teaching, some insights about women, the yoni, um, making love, and so on. Um, they ask, you know, how did I do so very well? How did I manage to come to learn these things, come to know these things? Was I, um, you know, blessed with awesome lovers uh, who could teach me? Was I blessed with good teachers who could guide me? Um, you know, was I just very lucky and very held and blessed by existence? What, what was it? Um, and of course the truth is yes, yes and yes, definitely yes. But, but there's another little thing, another little factor. Hmm. factor was I was interested. More than that, I was dedicated. That means I brought my resources, my intelligence, my money, my um, time, hmm, my effort. I brought these things of myself to this pursuit, to learning these truths to seeking. Now, a lot of the guys around me, a lot of people interested in Tantra, and hell, just a lot of you guys out there in the world claim to be interested in women, in the yoni, in love, in sex. You claim to be interested in these things. Now, I have a little bit of a challenge for you. Challenge is simple. It's, can you, do you, are you going to shower for your interests? That's simple. And look at the things you're interested in. <laughs> I know guys who uh, can um, name the top players internationally in several sports. They can quote statistics of them up and down. Uh, they studied strategies and forms of the games they enjoy to, uh, to an awesome level of understanding. And they claim to be interested in women. And about women, what they know, whoops, what they know about the yoni, <laughs> whoops, would I give them their license just to, you know, do sex? No. <laughs> I'm a hardliner. I think you should know about things, about difficult things, complicated things, troubles things, things that people struggle with in the world. I think you should know a little bit about them before you jump in with your ignorance. But look at that interest in sports. Look at your interest in your career, in your hobbies. Look how much effort, money, willingness, time, mind space you devote to it. Look at what you give these things, and then you claim to be interested in making love. How much have you learned about the yoni? How much have you discovered about women? But okay, you're not that bad, guys. I need to give you a little bit of a break. Hmm. There's a mitigating factor involved, yes. that mitigating factor. Mm. Well, everything else you know, you've been pretty much forced and trained to learn and be interested in. Uh, I remember at school, <laughs> we used to get beaten if we didn't go and support our team when it played rugby. <laughs> uh, uh, they really trained us into liking our sports. And many old boys of my old school still love it very much. But 
nobody beat you or trained you or insisted that you learn something about women, about the yoni, and this is stuff that you claim to actually have an interest in. So, admittedly, even the extent to which you have had an interest, and even the extent to which you have tried to learn, admittedly, it's been difficult. I found it difficult. Hell, it's not like the world knows about these things. I teach things and understand things of the yoni and regard things of the yoni as basic that I know are just not known and understood by the majority of gynecologists. You know, there are things about the relationship, the, the, the natural sexual, sexual cycle that are a complete fairy tale to pretty much all of Western sexual understanding. I mean, yeah, the information is hidden, the learnings are difficult to come by, etc. So, the, you know, the slack, I'll cut all you guys who say you're interested in sex and, you know, I query that. I'll cut you a little bit of slack on that. But I won't cut you slack for not making the effort. And because it's difficult does not mean it's not worth doing. I mean, come on, get all JFK on it. You know, we choose to do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Come on, get a hard on for your interest. And get in there. Get, you know. The world hides knowledge, so go dig. Hmm. Teachers are difficult to find, so ask the right questions. Probe. Find the people who seem to know something. Find out where they learned it, etc. Try to get to the source where it's still alive. You know, move your ass. Hmm. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, there's a kind of an excuse. Oh, well, you know. I'm fascinated in women, I'm fascinated in making love, I'm fascinated in that whole aspect of life, and I know nothing about it, and I don't think I can get to know anything about it. Not true. You can get to know about it. And just as a good place to start, just basic anatomy. Track down a fellow called Andrew Barnes. Look at his website. He's an educator around the area of sexuality, and... He's given the best lecture that I have seen yet on the Yoni. Um, good place to begin. Take it from there. Read my book. Get interested. Seek out people that you know, seem to know something. Basically, I'm just saying, take your interests. Take your interests in your hobbies, your careers, your profession, your cars, take those interests, put them on the scale. Put them there on that side of the scale. And take your interest in the woman, the yoni, put it on that side of the scale. And look, where do I put my interest, my time, my resources, my money, my energy? Hmm. Where do I put it? What am I actually into? Just get honest about it, you know? Get proportionate about it. What's the proportion for you? What matters? <laughs>